It's time to bow down to the queen. For today I have from Mattel's WWE Ultimate Edition line. This is a ringside collectibles exclusive. It is the queen, Charlotte Flair. Woo! That's right. This figure can only be purchased from ringside collectibles and as of the recording of this review this figure is now on back order till at least mid october so if you really want this order it now and you'll have it hopefully next month but now let's get back to this figure and take a closer look at the figure in the packaging. On top it has the Ultimate Edition logo, Flair, Charlotte, Flair, ages eight plus, and there she is in the packaging, looking really nice. Shiny Ultimate Edition logo, Mattel logo, Ultimate Articulation for Authentic Posability. And there's a really nice picture of Charlotte Flair on the side. On the side, Ultra Edition, Charlotte Flair, Ultra Edition logo here, stuff on the bottom, WWE logo here, and on the back, we have a product shot of the Charlotte Flair figure doing that moonsault on SmackDown. Her stats, from the Queen City, wow, 10-time WWE Women's Champion, wow. And here is an actual picture of Charlotte Flair wearing the attire this figure has on. Looks really nice. And here is a brief read up. Pause to read. So now, without any further ado, let's get the Queen, Charlotte Flair, out of the Ultimate Edition packaging. And here is Charlotte Flair whoo, out of the Ultimate Edition packaging. But before I get back to this really awesome figure, I just got to show you one of the things I absolutely love about this Ultimate Edition packaging. And that's the little Easter eggs they include under the packaging. Like, woo! And this one on the bottom... Bow to your queen. It's little things like that that make this so much fun. But what is not so fun is how they packaged this figure. Mostly the robe. They put the robe in that little slit of plastic that if you're not careful, you might rip and tear the fabric. But now back to the figure. Since there is a lot to take in with the figure and the accessories, I'm just going to do the figure first, then the accessories. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at the figure without the robe. A little piece of advice, remove the hands before you remove the robe. And here is Charlotte's face. A very good likeness to Charlotte. Probably the best likeness to Charlotte. For a quick comparison, here's the alternate head. Smiling head. We go down to her chest. And this looks like a brand new chest mold. I really hope they reuse this mold for other figures. Look at the back. The bottom part of her top is actually molded on not painted on like every other Charlotte Flair figure. Her entire torso is a brand new mold. Her top is pink. There are these paisley patterns throughout, especially on the back. It looks very Mardi Gras-like. We can see the bottom of her cross tattoo here. We can see the writing tattoo on this side. We can see her top is pointing down to her belly button. 
her bottom attire. The top has been painted a flesh tone to match the rest of her. On the back of her left wrist, we see the heart tattoo. On this one, we see that tattoo. And here is the back of Charlotte Flair. Her knee pads are really awesome. They have this fade color going on where it goes from pink to orange. Her boots are pink with CF for Charlotte Flair. Her boots also have black laces, black soles, and there is toe articulation. Now on to the accessories. We have the alternate smiling head, two gesturing hands, two open hands, and two mic holding hands. And last, but definitely not least, her pink entrance robe. Now, personally, I would have preferred her green peacock robe. That's more contemporary. But this is still a pretty well-designed robe. We got the faux feathers up here along the sleeves with the long ends. It's like silver peacocks. On the back, it says flare, and it's got these embellishments all over it. The only thing I do not like about this robe are the fasteners. It's just a standard Velcro fastener. I wish they would have made it more like how it appears here. I'm not sure if there is a way to do that, but here it just seems kind of lazy. If they would have done this more like that, this figure could have been perfect. But now let's fully accessorize the queen. And here is the queen, Charlotte Flair, all accessorized. I'm keeping the somewhat smug head on, but I gave her the gesturing hands. And by doing that, this figure looks amazing i will have her displayed like this but that is it from my review of the ringside collectibles exclusive charlotte flair ultimate edition figure tell me what do you guys think and what is your favorite charlotte flair robe is it this pink one is it her blue one is it the green one, etc.? Let me know down in the comments below. But until the next review I do, whether it's something that is or is not exclusive to Ringside, I will see you soon. And like the queen, this review will make you go 